Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back to kick off part 3 for the last 32 round. And we have two more matches to tuck into here, as we will see Nano Hunter taking on Slifer Sky Dragon X, and Random Guy 86 going up against Tor. Hang on, I'm gonna cough. <coughs> right, let's get on with them. Right, Deho, up first for Nano Hunter, we have the Simo Tyrannus. It seems the. Well. It seems the risk of using of not using super moves for this guy has, has paid off. Because the Simo Tyrannus has looked pretty strong. But it will be tough it'll be a tough matchup because in the blue corner for Slifer Sky Dragon we have an Abelosaurus. Um again, it's been hit and miss this guy. We've seen what it can do, we've seen how bad it can be. Slifer Sky Dragon barely qualifying from Group C B, while Nano Hunter topped Group E. Okay, that's a four. Ooh, good start from the Abelosaurus though, getting off the first hit. Oh, that's a tight. That's exactly what Simo Tyrannus wants because it is charge type. Ooh, the Simo Tyrannus coming in with a light recovery. And, and a defense boost, and an alpha dice. What's it gonna be? Ooh, big damage coming Abelosaurus's way. Oh, look at that! Talk about turning the screw, and you heal up a bit, and you buff up your defense, and you give yourself the lead. What a momentum swing that could be. Yep. Just like that, the Simo Tyrannus gives Nano Hunter 5000 a 1 0 lead. We've said that before, haven't we? Okay, up next for Slifer Sky Dragon, we have an Apatosaurus. Um, this guy's been quite disappointing, to be honest. You know, we haven't seen... Well, we haven't seen any of his super secret moves, and... It seems to die relatively quick. But, with this possibly being Slifer Sky Dragon's last match of the tournament, let's hope we'll see one of Apatosaurus' secret moves. Ooh, it gets a hit! It gets a hit! Simo Tyrannus, damage, but there's that defense boost there, limiting the damage. Up, oh, up, oh, here comes another light recovery. <laughs> and well, no defense boost because that thing's maxed. But there's light recovery, pretty much undoing the Apatosaurus' damage last round. Up, oh, up, oh, here comes an alpha dice. <laughs> What's it going to be this time? A free. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Not too much damage out there. But the Simo Tyrannus is in complete control of this match. And that's one thing that cannot be denied. And oh my, oh my, oh my goodness. Has Nano Hunter even been hit? Oh yeah, yeah, he's been hit twice. And two light recoveries. On. Ooh, here we go. Some secret moves. Got on a Parasaurus. Ooh. Ooh, could this be a turning point? Well, we wanted it, and we got it. Here comes, and what's this move called? Arc Discharge, that's the one. Finally seeing a Patasaurus' secret moves. Wow, look at that. Loads of damage dealt. Is this tie? Oh, the tie was just enough to finish off the Apatosaurus, though, and give Nano Hunter a 2-0 lead. But we did get to see its secret moves, so, you know, it's... A consolation prize, because Nano Hunter's probably going to win this match now. Well, let's see. Let's see what this spiny can do. The Simo Tyrannus is on really low health, though, so one hit will kill it. But then you got to deal with Nano Hunter's other two dinos, which aren't, you know, they're probably on the same par, on par with Simo. Yep, Spiny making light work of the Simo Tyrannus here, finishing off quick, and pulling one back for Slifer Sky Dragon. Ah, here's an interesting one. Up next for, what's his bloody name? Nano Hunter, we have a Super Ulti Rhinus. And someone might be making one of these for Jurassic World Evolution. 
It's a work in progress. I, I mean, I did the model this morning, but then I had to start again because I was an idiot and the Cobra tools are being a jerk. But it's not too hard. I just gotta do the nose horn by ear and then maybe make it a bit bigger or something. I don't know. I have to double check if it Ulti Rhinos was bigger than a Guanodon. Anyway, back to the back to the match. Ooh, a tie there. The Ulti Rhinos sustained more damage than Spiny did. Oh, hang on, this is Neptune's stream, so gotta get my wits about me. This could be a big... This could be a big turning point in the match. Yeah. Uh, scissors, paper, rock, scissors. Okay, we got it. Okay, no, no, Okay, we can mode on three. But we haven't seen one sign up here yet. Boosh. Ooh, there's the Emerald Garden, though. Quite a tricky move to get around that. Okay, that's once. Especially when the Ulti Rhinos gets it off. And just like that, all the hard work... Well, pretty much 80% of the damage done by... Okay, maybe not 80%. Oh, never mind. Nature's Blessing will make up for that. <laughs> Pretty much about 80% of the damage done by Neptune's stream was wasted. Oh, Nano Hunter. Turning back the screw now. And his awakening mode. A hit from Nano Hunter will end this match. Oh, it's a tie! But I think. Well, Nano Hunter won't mind that because lots of damage will be dealt. Ooh. The spiny getting off Neptune stream. Slifer Sky Dragon X hanging on in there. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm do, just do that game. Oh, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Although, as a sa as a saving grace for the Ulti Riders, since it is in awaken mode, it won't sustain as much damage as it normally would. Because normally I. Oh, never mind. Maybe it did. Ooh, an act. Oh no, shockwave there. Slifer Sky Dragon X is going to need a couple of those. That also guarantees that the Emerald Garden won't activate. Because Nano Hunter is not going to win this round. And instead, the Ulti Rhinus is biting the big one. Ooh, chance missed there from Nano Hunter. And it's down to his last dino, the Super Minus. Of course, one hit from the Super Minus will end the fight. A tie I don't think will be enough. So Cypher Sky Dragon still does does have a does have a chance. And has definitely given himself a chance after after killing that Ulti Rhinus. Ooh, and if a shockwave activates, that makes things intr- Oh, and all of a sudden, things getting interesting. Especially if it's the rock that goes bye-bye. Okay, it was scissors. So that means Spiny will be going paper. Ooh. Well, this will be one hell of a comeback from Slifer Sky Dragon X if they can see it home. Oh, Nano Hunter! What's happening to Nano Hunter? It's all going wrong. Is it going wrong for Nano Hunter? Look at this all of a sudden. Oh, it's a tie! Oh, look at that! Oh, oh, wait. Oh, Spiny are gone! Spiny are gone! <laughs> Oh my god, Slifer Sky Dragon X, what a comeback there! 2-0 down, Spiny was coming in, defeated the Samo Tyrannus, got around the Awaken mode, and used the tie to finish off Sukumimus. Now, I'll have to double check the recording to make sure that Spiny didn't die in that tie, because if Spiny did die, would have died in that tie, then, well, the match is a draw and we'll just do it again. But I think Spiny did survive because normally when two dinos die in a tie, it's the dino on the left that revives. 
So I am going to give that as a win for Slifer Sky Dragon X. And what a win. And that's quite a shock because I thought Nano Hunter was going to win that match. But, you know, it's commiseration for Nano Hunter, I should say. You know, they, they definitely... They definitely brought a uniqueness to the tournament using Simo Tyrannus, and they've definitely shown how to use how to use normal moves on a dinosaur. So yeah, credit credit Nano Hunter for that. But Slifer Sky Dragon X, what a win that was! I mean, and they may not win the tournament. Well, they may not get past the last sixteen, but whew, that's gonna be the highlight of their tournament. On the brink of the defeat, coming back to win. Oh, that's a classic. Right, enough blabbering about that. We'll move on to the next match. Well, I don't know how this matchup's going to surpass the last matchup, but we'll just have to see if it can. Anyway, up first for Random Guy 86, we have an Augustinia. Random Guy, quite a unique move set in the sense that it's all, all the Rush move cards. So the Gally Rush, the Romeo Rush, the Trufio Rush. Which is quite unique, and well, it's worked for him because he's got the last 32. Anyway, as for Tor in the blue corner, we have the overpowered Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Yes, the game's got its technique wrong. It should have another north on the end. It's got 4,500 technique, not 450 technique. Tor probably, I'd probably say one of the favourites to go all the way, but you know, can Random Guy 86 pull off an upset? Oh, ooh. Oh, only one though, only one though. But it will add an extra bit of damage to the Acrocanthosaurus, and I think it will lower its technique as well. Which is good because it gets a bloody flare sword and bloody volcano burst every bloody time. Oh, that's a try. Ooh, I don't know who that suits more. I think I think they both took like the same damage. Oh, big. Another hit coming from Augustinia. Ooh, a galley rush as well. Two of them joining in on the act this time. Random guy on top early on, and the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus has definitely seen better days. But one hit from the Alpha Acro can change all that because it will get off that flare sword or volcano burst. But it's getting that hit that's proving troublesome for Tor so far. Oh, here comes the hit. And here comes Volcano Burst or Flare Sword. Yep, here it comes. Here comes Volcano Burst. Even though I think the Alpha Acro lost all his technique. So it has like minus... If anything, it has like minus 100 technique now. <laughs> I'll have to double check what the Rush card moves do. Oh, well. You saw a bit of Blunder type effect there from the Augustinia. But it didn't matter because the Acrocanthosaurus died. Up next for Tor, we have a Therizniosaurus. Hmm. <laughs> Look for this guy in a Jurassic World Evolution mod showcase soon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, yeah, someone might be working on a Therry. But this Therry will be unique because it'll fight back. <laughs> oh, you're going to be excited when you see it. But the person who's making it hasn't even started yet. Oh, there's a tie. Anyway, back to the match. Can Tor pull this back? Oh, another tie. I think, the, well, the Augustinia is blunder type, so I think the tie suits him more. However, that suits the fairy more. The Augustinia biting the big one, and Tor evening up the score. But, Random Guy 86 still has a slight lead. Alright, as for Random Guy's second dino, we have a Yangchuangasaurus. <laughs> Another one that I might be making for Jurassic World Evolution. <laughs> and what makes this Yang Chuangasaurus special is that it has all the dive moves, which again, seem to have worked for Random Guy 86 thus far. Ding, bing, ding, ding, ding. But it is quite a tight match so far, with Random Guy 86 only just having a slight lead. But that lead is about to be extended with a tupu for a dive and a ram attack to cut. Now look at his pot belly. Ooh, the fairy though gets off that hit and there's the tie bomb. 
Oh, wow, loads of damage there. The tie will definitely suit Ferry more now. And there goes that tie. And pop goes the bomb. Oh, oh, poop, 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 I clicked paper. Um. Okay, I'll give Tor a free hit next time. I'll give Tor a free hit. Because that was supposed to be a tie. So, to be fair, I'll give Tor a free hit. Anyway, as for Tor's third dino, we have a Spinosaurus. Um, yeah, I'll give Tor a free hit. I mean, that was completely... My finger slipped. On the bloody button. Uh, yeah, we'll give Tor a free hit. It's only fair that Tor got a free hit there. Okay, there's the free hit. Random guy 86 is still in the lead. Ooh, another hit from the Spino. Tor. Once again, leveling things up. Oh, I actually forgot about this. The Chomp will be at a tight advantage against that Spino, so that could be key to this matchup. And it is Super Chomp, I should say. Uh, Waker Mode on 5. I doubt we'll see that if Random Guy gets off a, couple, a few hits. I doubt we'll see that. If Tor gets a few hits off, then we might see it. Very solid, this Chomp. And always seems to beat Spinosaurus, so... Well, if it's Spiny, can it beat the OG Spinosaurus? We'll just have to see. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, a Gatlin Spark coming from Chomp. Okay, I don't think that mistake's gonna matter. It looks like Random Guy 86 might actually pull this up. Okay, that's points. Ooh, Spinosaurus though, getting off another a hit. And that move, in particular move is not affected by the type disadvantage, so standard damage will be dealt. However, this critical move is affected by the type disadvantage, so this will do slightly less damage than it normally does. Oh, look at that though. Tell you what though, even though it did less damage, Chomp only just survived. Okay, we're pretty much not going to see Awaken Mode now, because if Chomp gets a hit, Random Guy 86 will win the match. If Spinosaurus gets a hit, then Tor will win the match. And... Oh, it's Tor getting the hit! Okay, the mistake didn't matter. Tor was going to win anyway, so... <laughs> Thankfully, that didn't matter. Well, congratulations to Tor there, and commiserations to Random Guy 86, who again did bring a bit of uniqueness into the tournament. Like, kind of like Nano Hunter did, and I did enjoy watching his team, so. Yeah, there you go. But it is an exit for Random Guy 86, I'm afraid, as Tor will advance to the last 16 to play Slifer Sky Dragon X. Ooh, that could be an exciting match. Right, well, I pretty much said what the me next matchups will be. Let's have a look who's playing in the next session. In the next session, we will see Laus, former champ, taking on Dark Ash Star. And then Aladar, I think this is Aladar. Yeah, Aladar going up against Danex Tactile. Well, stay tuned for then. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.